Hi, so welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to go over the VA, Veterans Administration, um, compensation, com comp what is the word? Compensation, <laughs> sorry, compensation and pension um, exam for when you have an eye exam. So um, I have really, really bad eyes and that was one of my claims for my VA disability claim. I am about to retire from the Air Force and um, that was just one of my claims. So the VA scheduled or they use a contractor. And my contractor was the Veteran Evaluation Services, so VES, and they scheduled my appointment for me. They scheduled it probably about um, a month out when they asked me when was I available, like what are my days that I'm available, uh, what's the best times for me to go for a, a CMP appointment, right? So I told them and they scheduled it out. When they schedule them out, they call you, they text you, they email you, and, the, and they will also email you um, the address of the organization, the doctor or doctors you're going to see, they tell you what you need to bring or what you don't need to bring, right, and how far it is. And they actually give you um, a little map too. So I actually went to a, like an eye institute where these people only deal with vision. Right, and so uh, that was pretty cool, but also I'm about to tell you about my experience too. You know, like it, it was only cool for like a little bit. Okay, so anyway, so my appointment was probably about 45 minutes from where I lived, and um, I just drove there. Now, my eyes are so bad, normally annually I get them dilated because I just have really, really bad eyes, right? And so I had forgot this, but on my um, email it said your eyes will be dilated so bring a driver right but I'm so used to my eyes being dilated over the years I know how to drive with dilated eyes I just put on my sunglasses and keep it moving so anyway so drove there 45 minutes it's an eye institute they only do eyes walked in um, went to the bathroom because I know it's gonna take a long time right because it's gonna have other patients there so this is an eye institute where they deal with civilian patients and they do contractor services for the VA, right? So when I went upstairs, um, it was actually a really, really nice facility. I told them I was here for an eye appointment, um, basically with the VA. And so the person that was the receptionist that was sitting behind a desk, she had a list of five names. And it seems like every VA appointment that I go to, there's always one paper that has a list of five names. And they were blocked out for like, um, like my appointment was like, 1320 someone had an appointment at 1310 so I was thinking if someone got here 10 minutes earlier then this is gonna be a short appointment I was wrong I didn't even see this person but I had to be reminded and be mindful that veterans are all ages but I will let you know I was the youngest person in that whole facility that was being seen so uh, I just really really stood out there and it stood out to me because everyone that I saw that was there looked to be at least 50 years old or older okay and I'm not an ageist, but I'm just like, I'm, I'm aware of my surroundings, especially this is my first eye, eye exam with the VA or for my VA disability compensation and pension appointment. So anyways, so I sat down after I signed in. I didn't even have to show them my um, ID. They had my name on a, on a um, piece of paper. I told them my name and it was a specific uh, piece of paper for the VES, Contract Services. I sat there probably about 10, 15 minutes before I got called back. There was a, a lady probably around my age that called me back and she was like, she was really nice at first, okay? She was asking me how my day was and she told me about the whole process. She was like, we're going to um, give you an eye exam. I'm gonna ask you some questions. It's good. I'm just gonna be thorough. And we're also gonna blow in your eye to see what your actual eye prescription is. Did you bring your glasses? Did you bring your contacts? Like the normal way that a real eye exam would go with, with, with or without being contracted services with the VA or just going to the optometrist's office. So it was cool with all that, very familiar. So it got to the point after we had did the um, blowing in my eye, that test, and then uh, we had to do the vision test where I had to tell her how far I could see with my contacts on, right? 
and uh, they have like they gave me like a piece of paper for me to read and she was like at this point like this distance from you how far can you read like how far low can you read the lower you went on the paper the smaller the print was and next to it is like a vision like 2020 or 2015 and I think I probably read at 2015 right with uh, they test you with your your um, left eye closed, they test you with your right eye closed, and then they test you with both of them, right? And you're reading what you can read. And then they also um, pull the machine over to where they're looking like this inside your eyes when you have your contacts on. And then they I have like a, a vision board that has like letters, right? And you obviously know if you've been to any eye doctor appointment in general, the letters go from big to small, and I mean tiny, right? And she asked, like, how, how far can you read with your left eye or your right eye, both eyes? Now, not within the machine, but just, just on the wall. There's a poster board on a wall with um, letters. So that was all fine and dandy. <laughs> Until she tells me, take extra contacts. And when I tell you, I'm, I, I have bad eyesight, like really, really bad eyesight. So bad that I had to get a waiver in order to go into the Air Force. But I didn't tell her that, but that's my story, right? Um, so I take my contacts off, and she's like, tell me what you can see. <laughs> the same exact board I was looking at before, I was like, I can't see nothing. That's how bad it is. She was like, uh, she gave me the piece of paper again, tell me what you can read. So before I was down here, like down here at 2015, I had to go up to the top, which I, I don't know what that vision number is, but it was big, okay? Um, and then she was like, um, tell me what you can see on the board again. And I was like, and nothing. She's like, um, do you have your glasses with you? And I was like, yeah. She was like, I'm going to go put them underneath whatever scanner to see what the, the prescription is. Right. And so just for some context, like my vision is in a negative sixes and in, and in a negative sevens because I have two different visions in both eyes. Right. So, um, she was like, so as soon as that happened, she, her attitude changed. Like this girl has really, really bad vision. Like that's what I could sense. She was thinking that right. And her attitude changed towards me, like in a negative way. It's like, she didn't believe what I was telling her when I, when she took my contacts, we took my contacts out. She took my glasses away to go test them. And I'm here with no corrective vision in my eyeballs. Right. And she's like, well, what can you see again? And I said, and nothing. I, I'm not going to lie to you. I cannot see anything. So then she stood up, went to the board, and she was like, how many figures am I holding up? Right? I'm like, I can't tell you because I, I really can't see. And it's like she was getting frustrated that I could not see what she was saying, right? And so then um, I put my glasses on and did the same exact test all over again, right? And um, she, then she proceeds to ask me questions like, what medications are you on? Um, do you have dry eyes? Like, just re regular typical questions. But it seems like she was just exasperated with my with my answers and it's just like look tech look optometry technician optician you're not really here to judge you're not the judge or the jury like just run me them questions so i can get my behind out of here okay so anyway so she was just very very rude and then she was telling me she was like i'm having an off day i don't even know what day it is uh, my anxiety's up or her allergies was up or something she was saying and because she was kind of really all over the place with with taking me to different rooms to get different exams for my eyes and ask me questions and then um she did end up dilating my eyes right and so i sat there in the waiting room for about 15 minutes for them to get dilated and then she's like well, we're gonna give you some um wrap around glasses to put on sunglasses so when you're driving cause she asked you ever a uh, driver and i was like no she's like so when you're driving you won't be so blinded because when you are getting dilated your pupils are open so the doctor can see in the back of your eye right so once they were dilated and ready to be uh examined 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 okay <laughs> examined by the doctor I met the doctor. He was so, so, so cool. Like, his demeanor, his personality was day and night compared to the op optician. Like, she she had a badass attitude. But anyway, so he looked in, my, um, in the back of my eyes with the machine. He dilated them. Or after them being dilated, so you can really see in the back. And he was like, <laughs> which I had never heard this before from any doctor. He was like, you need to go see a retina specialist. He said, are you going to see a retina specialist after this? I said, no. He said, you need to go see a retina specialist. And I was like, okay. 
So I was mindful of that, right? So whenever I do sign up for VA healthcare or whatever, I'm that's one of the first things I'm going to do is like, well, the, the your contracted doctor from VES said I need to see a retina specialist. So run me to the retina specialist, period, right? So anyway, so that whole appointment time probably took about an hour and a half, to be honest, because there's a lot of hair I've been waiting. It's a lot of moving to different um, rooms, and there's so many patients there. You have to wait for the room to be opened. Okay, so um, the best part about it was the actual doctor. He was really, really kind, but I was only with that doctor for no more than seven minutes, right? Because the other opticians, and it's not just her, it's plenty of opticians there, seeing other patients and getting them through the rooms too. And I could tell that the patients they were seeing were not, they didn't look like they were just veterans, like young veterans like me or soon to be retirees or soon to be separatees. Now I know veterans are all ages, but these people don't look like veterans. They look like regular civilians. So I don't know if that optician treats all the people like that, but she was treating me that way. And she knows what kind of exam this was. She knows it's for a CMP exam. So I believe, like I said before, my other CMP um, videos, some of these people that are the contracted people that are uh, medical professionals, they don't believe veterans. So they will they will be asking you questions and then you give them an answer. It's like they don't even believe your answer. So um, my eyes is the truth and what I can and cannot see it is what it is. You know, so we'll see what I get for my disability rating for my eyes. But I just want to let you know that's how it went for an in-person eye exam for um, your VA CMP exam. So let me know if you have any questions and until next time.